Hi, I'm Kaylee Grant, and I'm a freshman. I'm Kyle Mann, I'm also a freshman, and today we're going to be reading John chapter 12, verses 20 through 36. Some Greeks who had come to Jerusalem for the Passover celebration paid a visit to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee. They said, Sir, we want to meet Jesus. Philip told Andrew about it, and they went together to ask Jesus. Jesus replied, Now the time has come for the Son of Man to enter into his glory. I tell you the truth, unless a kernel of wheat is planted in the soil and dies, it remains alone. But its death will produce many, love, many new kernels, a plentiful harvest of new lives. Those who love their life in this world will lose it. Those who care nothing for their life in this world will keep it for eternity. Anyone who wants to serve me must follow me, because my servants must be where I am, and the Father will honor anyone who serves me. Now my soul is deeply troubled. Should I pray? Father, save me from this hour. But this is the very reason I came. Father, bring glory to your name. Then a voice spoke from heaven, saying, I have already brought glory to my name, and I will do so again. When the crowd heard the voice, some thought it was thunder, while others declared an angel had spoken to him. Then Jesus told them, The voice was your, for your benefit, not mine. The time for judging this world has come. When Satan, the ruler of this world, will be cast out, and when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself. He said this to indicate how he was going to die. The crowd responded, We understood from Scripture that the Messiah would live forever. How can you say the Son of Man will die? Just who is the Son of Man anyway? Jesus replied, My light will shine for you just a little longer. Walk in the light while you can, so the darkness will not overtake you. Those who walk in the darkness cannot see where they are going. Put your trust in the light where there, while there is still time. Then you will become children of the light. After saying these things, Jesus went away and was hidden from them. So basically, we know that Jesus is predicting his death in this passage and that um, his first coming on earth was to live and die so that we could be saved. In the passage, he says that we are given a light, but only for a little while. And I take this as we need to use this opportunity to make sure everybody knows why he was crucified and that we need to spread this word um, to others to help them believe because he is telling us about God and um, his ministry in this passage. And, um, yeah, so I just think we're just going to pray this out, and, um, yeah. Dear God, I just thank you for this opportunity to learn more about you and why you died for us. God, I just pray that you help guide this journey in sharing your word with others and sharing your word with whoever may be listening to this, God. And I just pray this all in your name. Amen. Amen.